Kate, now we step into the, uh, the very strange world of Ricky Gervais. As if two Golden Globes and more BAFTAs than is decent to mention weren't enough, Ricky has now broken a world broadcasting record. Almost three million people have now downloaded his podcasts since the internet series that features Ricky and writing partner Stephen Merchant began just a couple of months ago before Christmas. This is kind of... it's hard to describe. It's kind of radio over the web, but it, it works like this. Welcome to another podcast with me, Ricky Gervais, Stephen Merchant and Carl Pilkington. I would describe podcasting as a radio show mm -hmm. or a, a, could be a speech, could be just, you know, getting something off your chest and then putting it on the world wide web for everyone to be able to download and listen to at their convenience. It's very immediate. If you do telly, it takes months to write a TV show and make it and film it. And whereas this, you can just walk in a room, you can just ask Carl any question that comes into your head. Ask Carl any dynamite. question about anything, about himself, about the world, about history, uh, politics, something you've read. Ask his opinion on everything. And y you, you couldn't guess the answer. What, Carl, would be the best way to die? <laughs> just an injection in the head. Why <laughs> <laughs> right in the head? So it works quicker. Pretty much anything goes, there's no one telling you what you can and can't say. It can be any length. Um, it's free, so they can't complain. That's the worst thing, though. What? That it's free. <laughs> I'm, I've, I've left a job to do this. Not making any money out of it. We've had five million downloads, and he just wanted to charge a quid. You'd pay a pound, wouldn't you, for a download? <laughs> What's a pound? I give homeless people a pound without thinking about it. We're giving it away. What about having your head cut off? That's quick. Well, it's not quick, though, is it? Of course it is. No, because we found out that it do you don't die straight away. They did some tests recently. <laughs> no, because they're doing face transplants and that, and this is probably the next thing up, isn't it? Like an head, doing an head transplant. So we sort of said, <laughs> we're going we're gonna to cut it off. Um, going to what? So we're going to cut your head off? Cut your head off, and right. then we'll, we'll chuck some questions at you. <laughs> <laughs> It shouldn't be called the Ricky Gervais show. It should be called the Carl Pilkerton show. I mean, it's ridiculous. I'm so lazy. I just turn up now and prod him. Look. <laughs> uh, like, you can resist that. It, it makes me go a bit, oh, God. And that's, that's, just, that's what I'm saying about prep for the, for the podcast. That's the sort of thing that we do. Do you want to squeeze? No, I'm all right, thanks. Save it for later. So the earth comes off, it lands on the neck, lovely, like that. Right, and they went, right. Uh, oh. Um, Bit of maths. No, they didn't. And apparently they lasted for like, uh, I think it was about 28 seconds before they sort of went a bit groggy. <laughs> groggy? You feel a bit groggy when your head's been cut off. You're of... talking nonsense. People around the world are waiting for this. Whatever, whatever happened in their country, Monday morning, they go, we must go to the podcast. Get that free podcast. <laughs> There's something quite nice about being at the uh, forefront of this new technology, though, you know, because, uh, I mean, the reason we can get into the Guinness Book of Records is because there's no one to compete with, because yeah. we've only just started doing it. It's rather like the guy who invented the wheel winning the award for the best wheel. It's like, well, oh, it's there's like no one most else. people who get into the Guinness Book of Records for having the record for doing the 100 metres with the milk bottle balanced on their head. No one else is trying to beat them. Yeah. <laughs> fab. Fantastic. Absolutely fab.